Okay, this is my video on how to form questions and uh, question formations with question words. Okay, so let's have a look at question formats in Spanish before we use question words. So we can use generally, it's quite easy, we just use statements as questions. So if you know how to form a verb in a tense, um, then you're halfway there. So, for example, vas al cine, you go to the cinema, if you just put question marks around it and raise your voice at the end, vas al cine, do you go to the cinema, becomes the question. Now, often I have students looking up do or did or will do um, for the question format, but you don't need to look those up as long as you know the verb in the tense and you just put question marks around it, raise your voice, and then it becomes the question. Uh, we've got quite a lot of flexibility in Spanish with where we put the pronouns on the nouns, so we could put them in different places. So you might see questions with va mucho al cine la gente, or we could put va la gente mucho al cine, or la gente va mucho al cine, all of those meaning the same thing. Do people go to the cinema? Note then that the noun here is at the end of the, of the question. Um, vas tu al cine mucho? Do you go to cinema much? Or vas al cine tu mucho? Or vas al cine mucho tu? Or tu vas mucho al cine? Any of those would be do, would be okay. So note that our pronoun here is after the verb. So lots of flexibility where we put them. In other tenses, exactly the same. So fuiste al cine? Did you go to the cinema? Same as our statement, fuiste al cine? You went to the cinema. Comieron ellos pizza? Did they eat pizza? Same as the statement as well. Another example of three ways of doing the same thing. So jugó Pablo al tenis? Jugó al tenis, Pablo? Pablo jugó al tenis? Did Pablo te te play tennis? Note again that did doesn't exist in the dictionary for this for these question words, for these questions, um, question formation. We just take the verb, put it in the tense, and then raise our voice for the question. Okay, so let's have a look at question words now. So we have que, which is often followed by a noun or a verb. So que hiciste ayer, our verb here. What did you do yesterday? Que helado quieres? What ice cream do you want? One thing to know about all question words is they always have an accent on them when they're in the question format. For example, que without a question would be um, would be a relative pronoun. So that. Uh, para que? For what? For what reason? ¿Para qué quieres aprender español? For what reason do you want to learn Spanish? ¿Cuál o cuáles? Is often uh, followed by just a verb because there's been a choice of something um, previously. So, ¿cuáles quieres? We're inferring here that somebody's giving you a choice of two things or more. If we want to mention the verb, we put de las o de los o del o de la. Um, de las fotos, te gustan. So which of the photos do you like? ¿Cuáles las fotos te gustan? ¿Quién o quién es? ¿Quién for singular who? ¿Quién es for a plural you who? So ¿Quién es? Singular form of the verb as well. Who is it? ¿Quién es necesitan ir? Plural they form of the verb here. Who, uh, who needs to go? ¿Dónde? Where? So ¿Dónde vive? Where does he or she live? ¿Dónde está? Where is it? ¿A dónde? To where? Not quite so usual in English, but this is useful mainly. ¿A dónde vas? Where are you going to? We probably drop the two in English. Where are you going? ¿Cuándo? When? ¿Cuándo empieza? When does it start? ¿Cuándo terminan? When do they finish? ¿Por qué? Note here that it's separated here with a space between the two. Accent on the E. If it was together, no accent, it would be the answer to this, because. So, ¿por qué fuiste? Why did you go? ¿Por qué no lo comiste? Why didn't you eat it? ¿Cómo? How? Or sometimes what? So, ¿Cómo llegaste? How did you arrive? Or how did you get here? There. ¿Cómo te llamas? One of our first questions we learned. How or what are you called? So this is where it might mean what are you called, or what's your name, obviously. And then cuanto, which acts a little bit like an adjective. So cuanto, cuanta, cuantos, cuantas, how much or how many. So cuantas personas, personas, feminine plural, cuantas, verb in the plural form as well, vienen, how many people are coming. Cuantas personas vienen. Información, feminine, we know it's feminine because it's I-O-N on the end. 
So we change the O to an A. So, ¿cuánta información hay? How much information is there? Okay, so let's have a little practice now. You might tend to do, you might need, to, you might need a dictionary for this and maybe perhaps your notes as well. Or go back and have another refresh and then come back to this in a minute. Pause it now, have a go, and then we'll go over the answers. So the first one is using the statement for questions. So, ¿te gusta el queso? You like cheese becomes, ¿te gusta el queso? Do you like cheese? Using question words now, ¿qué? ¿Qué te gusta comer? What do you like to eat? Might be worth noting here that after gusta, we often use the infinitive um, for, when, in verb forms. So, what do you like to eat or what do you like eating? Still the infinitive in Spanish. Where did she visit? ¿Dónde visitó de vacaciones? Why will they go there? ¿Por qué irán ahí? Future tense here. Did he find his book? Again, using the statement for question. ¿Encontró su libro? Which do you want? ¿Cuál quieres? ¿A dónde fue? Where did he go to? Do they play often? ¿Juegan a menudo? ¿Juegan mucho? I suppose you could put it as well. ¿Quién te escribió? ¿Quién? Who wrote to you? We assume it's just one person. Could be quienes te escribieron, I suppose. It's plural. And use the one, donde están los aseos? Okay, hope you've got that idea now. Now we're just going to have a quick vocab test. Make sure we can refresh our memories. So we've got all the words for questions on here, plus some question starters as well. Um, have a go at matching them up. Pause it now, and then we'll go over the answers. Okay, so we've got que, which is what, or sometimes which, como, how, or what, obviously with the question, what's your name, cuando, when, por qué, why, cual or cuáles, which, cuánto or cuánta, how much, how many, quién, or don't forget plural, quién is, who, donde, where, a donde, to where, puedo, can I, Vas, do you go? Tienes, do you have? Haces, do you do? Or do you make, I suppose? Juegas, do you play? Escribes, do you write? Ves, do you see? Okay, hopefully you got those right. Rewind back if you need a refresh of this particular um, topic. <laughs> 